Hey there. This last video I put out, I had a very unusual way to do the light show mission. Now, the reason I'm making a video on how I did this light show mission is I think the light show task is the hardest on the field. So, although my solution may not be the optimal solution, it is what I could come up with with the remaining parts I had in that Spike Prime set. The only way I could think of to try to accomplish this task with the remaining parts I had in the Spike Prime was to spin the top of the mechanism. I did not have remotely enough to try to make any kind of lifting mechanism whatsoever. So I made two quite big mistakes when developing this mechanism. First of all, I didn't realize that the lift was supposed to reach the blue section of the light show and not as high as possible. But more importantly, I didn't realize that there was no height limit during the match. I mistakenly assumed that the height limit that applies to the inspection area this year also applies to the match. So I later read that there was no height limit when actually running the robots, and so I have this completely unnecessary get-up mechanism. But because it's there, I'm going to explain it first. The only way to make the robot fit in this non-existent height limit was to have the robot start on its side since there was not remotely enough parts to make this tower mechanism actually extend upwards somehow. So here's the view of the robot on its side. The robot is balancing on three points, the motor and the two front bumper pieces. There's also a rubber band loaded arm, which the robot doesn't balance on, but this assists the robot in getting up. The robot will swing these flexible whisker arms around, and these will put just enough pressure on the ground to lift the robot up. If I did not have the rubber band loaded arm, there would actually be too much weight for these whiskers to have to pick up, and the robot would not be able to get up. The flexible whisker arms allow the robots to reach the ground to get up, but are not so rigid that they get caught on some other part of the robot, preventing the motor from actually moving in order to power the wheels up top. Now, how do we actually power the wheels at the top, considering that the motor is all the way at the bottom? I use a couple of 90 degree gears and a very, very long drive shaft that goes all the way up the tower to another pair of 90 degree gears that power the wheel. Now, again, this is what I had remaining, and actually, if I were to do this again, I would choose a slightly different method. I hope you liked that video, and I hope you can learn from some of the mistakes that I made during this process. Don't forget that the whole robot you saw in this video was made in one day using only a Spike Prime set, so I was definitely in quite a big hurry there. Thank you for watching this video. If you learned something or liked the video, please do feel free to drop a like on the video, drop a comment on the video, and subscribe to my channel. Now, this isn't free, but if you want me to have a look at your team, please contact me using this email down below. Thank you.